This is Openly Hostile Opinions. With your hosts, Casey and Jay. This episode of Openly Hostile Opinions has been brought to you by Private Internet Access. Private Internet Access provides state-of-the-art multi-layered security with advanced privacy protection using VPN tunneling. When you use Private Internet Access, not even your ISP can tell what you're doing online. Prevent throttling and other people from eavesdropping on what you do. If you want to help out Openly Hostile Opinions and get yourself this wonderful VPN package, Go to ohonet.pw slash ohovpn. Again, that is ohonet.pw slash ohovpn. Sign up for private internet access today. Hello, people of the internet and beyond. Hello. Hello. What's up, everyone? This is Openly Hostile Opinions. How the hell are you? Hey, special shout out to uh, Kristen Bryson, who's joining us, by the way. I haven't seen you in, like, what, probably 11, 12 years now? <laughs> 11 or 12. Or fucking ever. That's what happens when you get old, you pop out babies, and you can't make it to the bathroom on time. Fucking sucks. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I hate getting old. Fucking drives me nuts. <laughs> I'm done. Yeah, yeah, you know, you get all flabby, and parts of you are squishy that never were squishy before. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. I fucking hate it. Fuck it. We got, I gotta play this. Sorry. <laughs> oh my god, you and that damn sledgehammer. I know, we got I we gotta get we gotta get Mark Hammer back on the show. We really do. Yes, we do. Uh Kevin's here, I see. Hello, Kevin. Ron, Megan, hello guys. Uh if you're watching us on uh on uh Periscope Twitch, thanks for joining us. I feel like I'm really high right now. I gotta go down a little bit. <laughs> Craig's the one who's usually high. Yeah, that's true. Put you sh- crackhead. <laughs> hold on, hold on, where is it? Where is it? There we go. There we go. There we <laughs> go. Where's the volume on this thing? I don't fucking know. It's on the side. Over here somewhere. Turn it up a little bit. How do we do that? I think it's all the way up. Oh, is it? No, no, no. There we go. Here it. Oh, God. There we go. It's a lot better. Such a professional show we do here. <laughs> know, such, yeah. such a professional <laughs> at show. At least the shit's working. Yeah, at least the shit's working this time. Holy fuck, man. <laughs> so, did you guys hear that uh, <laughs> That uh, TJ Miller was arrested for calling in a fake bomb threat? Are you serious? Why? <laughs> yeah, I, I apparently this happened on March 18th, but I'm just hearing about it today. He was all drunk and shit, and uh, he was on an Amtrak train from Washington, D.C. to New York City. And, um, yeah, he was all drunk and being belligerent and shit, and some chick called him out for it, I guess. So he claimed that the woman had a bomb in her bag. <laughs> but he was so fucking drunk that he, uh, he, he didn't even know what the number of the train was. So uh, when he reported it, another train had to be stopped in Connecticut. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Uh, dude, if I was famous, I would I would probably be a drunk more than I already am. Yeah, well, the the FBI was a little less than happy. Uh, <laughs> they caused 926 man hours worth of delays. Oh my god! See that that's the thing. This is the thing I don't understand. Uh, a lot of schools after this Parkland shit happened were like they were getting bomb threats and all this crap. Someone that's going to blow up a school isn't going to call ahead of time and do it. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? You, you know, back in the day in high school, we had a bomb threat and they uh, evacuated us all. And we all stood out in the parking lot, you know, because if they were going to blow the place up, a parking lot would be real safe from, uh, you know, the, yeah. the 10 feet away from the, from the from the school that it was. I know. But, that's the thing. It's so stupid. It's like, but people got to fucking overreact on everything, I guess. Well, I well, they went through and swept the place. Uh, it turned out it was a can of SpaghettiOs, a number ten size can of SpaghettiOs. Who carries a sca- can of SpaghettiOs around with them? It was in the it was in the uh, computer lab for some reason, <laughs> and the label was gone. <laughs> Why would you carry? I think. Oh my god! Wait, are you saying that the? Oh, okay. I thought you said the girl on the train that T.J. Miller was harassing. That's no, what no, it was. no, no, no. It was a thing of SpaghettiOs. No, that's that bomb threat that we had at my school when I was oh, a okay. teenager. Oh, right. Some somebody came across a number ten can with the label missing of SpaghettiOs in Jeez. the computer lab that's and that was uh, yeah. that was the bomb yeah that's the thing uh, they're not gonna call it a bomb threat if they're gonna like you want to take them by surprise so the last thing you want to do is fucking make a bomb oh my god 
Well, and now they're doing the whole clear backpack thing. You know, the Parkland students are all pissed that somebody's infringing on their rights. <laughs> I know. They of want course. to take your Second Amendment right. But once you start taking theirs away, it's a different fucking story. But the funny part is, you know, we had to do that stupid fucking uh, clear or mesh backpack bullshit back when I was in high school after the Columbine yeah. thing. Um, I remember that you had to do it, too, because of a drug problem. The school that you oh, went my God, to had yeah. a horrible drug Heroin. problem. Yeah. Horror. Greg. <laughs> He, he was a cokehead. He was what? a cokehead, not a heroin head. Oh, he he did the heroin to come down off the coke. <laughs> yes. Um. No, but uh, a bunch of people were doing heroin in the high school that he went to, so they made him wear clear backpacks because they were uh, also that you guys. I remember you had an acid problem. You guys were selling a lot of acid at your schools, and you were putting them on sweet tarts. Oh yeah, yeah. It's not like was, I did it or anything. Like, yeah, wing wing. Uh, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you bad kids. Yeah, but that's been since what? Tw- over 20 years ago they've been doing that at that school yeah something so like it's that. nothing new it's nothing new have i really all. been out of school for 20 years uh, jesus christ yeah i know don't get me fucking started dude I think it's been longer for me right well, oh I, that's right i got locked up yeah you kind of got <laughs> removed from school right yeah. you have a history of this sort of shit you know it yeah, was this jail you fun. might have set something Look, on fire s- see my name <laughs> Would you, oh is that your prison number yeah no, oh. for God's sake. How do you remember your prison number? He kind of, that, that was his ID. That was my ID for a long so time. So no one ever called you by your name. They just, hey, MM4956. No, no. Yes, Kevin. <laughs> What'd Kevin say? What, what high school? Went towards well? Oh, yeah. yeah it's we weren't trying to say it, so people didn't know his oh, life. Who cares? <laughs> I know. It's what high school I went to. Some of the things I say, you get. You don't want me to say. That some I just things. don't want you to say shit that'll get me fired. <laughs> like, actually, yeah, we said shouldn't where you talk work. about the place we work at anymore. <laughs> yeah, even though this jackass here named it. Yeah, I'm who? sorry. That's my fault. I, I, I accidentally said the name of where you guys work. Oh, oh wow. Well. <laughs> jackass. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I but... wore my uniform into fucking my counseling the one day. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't even think about it. Yeah, didn't even think about it. Whatever. <laughs> Could be worse. Could have AIDS. You're not supposed to wear that to counseling? Well, no, I'm pretty about? sure they don't want to be associated with that. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, It's a drug and alcohol counseling place. So. Yeah, I remember uh, I was at a drug and alcohol uh, counseling place. A big surprise, surprise. <laughs> and uh, I was wearing a tavern shirt from a place, and they bitched oh, at me please. for it. <laughs> They bitch at me for it. They're like, could you not wear that in here? I'm like, what I the? should wear that shirt that you guys made. Oh, the, oh, the cocaine, cocaine shirt. Right. Which is available. <laughs> on our uh, on our openly hostile opinion store at openlyhostileopinions.com slash shop. Pick up all your OHO gear, including hats, <laughs> t-shirts, coffee mugs, whatever you like. We got it. Yes. All right, there um, also, I do want to make an announcement. Uh, this week uh, is the first time that we are streaming on Twitch now. So we are also streaming on Twitch. I don't know if anyone that watches this show or listens likes Twitch, but uh, we're not really a gaming talk show. Uh, we talk about games here and there, but... We do some game streams yeah, on occasion, though. We're going to stream in their IRL channel, where it's usually just a bunch of kawaii bitches with their tits hanging out. So Wait, what? Yeah. It's, 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 it's Japanese for cute. If, yeah, if you're ever bored, go to Twitch... Go in the IRL channel and just watch these sluts galore. <laughs> Probably going to get banned for this, but whatever. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> we don't need to stream through Twitch. We're just doing it to do it. But, uh, yeah, it's just these whores. These whores. It's just it's just horrible. I, I don't like it. It's god awful. It's just whatever. Makes it really, Kevin? <laughs> what did Kevin say? Kevin wants to know what is Twitch. What the fuck is Twitch? Uh, it's It's something where you can watch people play video games. Um, and that's it, the thing. It's Why for people with streaming no to Twitch. I don't. I don't know. I don't just to see if maybe we can reach pick up more some, people. Yeah, pick some up some more people. Plus, like I said, I wanted to start doing some uh, some retro gaming streams and shit like that. And it just seemed like an appropriate platform to do so. Yeah, and like if we get some kind of following, or whatever, I might play some WoW or something like that. I missed the chat. Where were you? Where were you? What Kevin say? Oh, what is Twitch? Yeah, what yeah. The I fuck think is my Twitch? chat's not working right. Whatever. Yeah, where is that? I don't know. It's on Facebook. I have no um, idea. Whatever. But uh, I did want to bring something up. Me and uh, Jay were talking about this a little bit before the show. So last week we were talking about how people get offended by everything and all this bullshit and how they're a bunch of pussies. Uh, I guess the Simpsons. That, 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 that comment offends me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> uh, oh, I better not say Eat Jesus. Dick. I better beep out <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I did that completely wrong. But uh, Maybe we can make the news if we start talking shit on Muhammad. Yeah, probably. Show a picture. Do you know it's the number one name in the world? Uh, there's a lot of lot of Muslim people. Yeah, uh, I thought it would be John, 
especially when Muslims become telephone operators, their names become John. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for coming. Yeah, thank you for coming. My name is Mike. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. Your Where are you from, Mike? Uh, Seattle? <laughs> <laughs> I like grunge. I like Nirvana. Uh, so uh, apparently in the 30 seasons of The Simpsons, people are just starting now bitch about a poo. <laughs> Even uh, though he's the biggest stereotype yeah, ever. Yeah, the biggest stereotype ever. It's funny, whatever, he owns a Quickie Mart, you know, that's where, whatever. Well, I guess people are pissed about it now because we live in a fragile world. So uh, who cares, dude? Like, uh, how, how many how many comedians go out and make fun of bl- white people? We don't give a shit. Half I know. the time I laugh my I mean, ass off. Yeah, and you know how many times I get called cracker in my lifetime? Like, it's, there is no that is that is the dumbest insult ever. Like I know. it does not carry the same weight as words I like I crackers. Can't say. I I like crackers. I think crackers taste good. But I don't know. I got I got called a saltine once, and I was like, oh, that's pretty. That's pretty uh, good. Kevin corrected us because of course he did. What Wang is the most common name in the world? Where are you seeing this chat? It's are on you, Facebook. It's on Facebook. He just said it, didn't he? <laughs> I don't know Facebook. Uh, apparently, my phone don't work. No. Yeah. No, I, I was gonna say something, but. We'll uh, not say it. <laughs> we'll just play this. I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs um, gay. Nobody likes that, Alex. No, yeah, no one likes that. that. Uh, so what I was saying is, so in the 30 years that The Simpsons has been going, um, you're like a rotten cracker. I know, I am. Rotten cracked? Uh, what's on okay. your mind, Megan? <laughs> um, I like crack. Yeah, I like crack. Uh, I took Megan on her birthday yesterday, actually. She's never been to a casino, so I took her to a casino for the first time. Yeah, and I heard about it. I'm like, damn, I should have come up with that. (laughs) Fuck, now I can't do it because she'll be like, ah, you drove into Boston. Wait, did you go to Harrisburg? No, we went to um, Wilkes-Barre. Oh. We gambled a little bit. We had a couple drinks, and then we went to this place that actually had really good wings. I was surprised. But uh, anyways. Oh, wings. Yeah. I want wings. Uh, The thing I like about uh, the... um, (laughs) Simpsons, though, is they didn't back down. They actually did a little speech in one of their episodes, and uh, they had a picture of a poo uh, where it said, don't have a cow man, where that's his catchphrase, is don't have a cow man. So they basically told everyone to fuck off, and I love it. It's about time. Oh, like, well, yeah, everybody like needs to fucking pull their big boy and big girl panties up and stop being offended by every little goddamn thing. Yeah, and it reminded me of sort of like uh, when Tiger Woods got caught uh, banging everybody, uh, cheating on his wife. I was so sad that he apologized. <laughs> like, I wish a part of part of me wish that when all that happened, he would have just told everyone to fuck off. Like, if I if I had millions of dollars and my wife probably didn't love me anymore because that's what money does to people, I'd probably fuck a bunch of hookers too. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, Bill Burr has a great rant about that. I love that. Bill Burr. And, he uh, is one of my favorite. Comedians. Oh yeah, he's great. But he has a, a great rant about that, uh, and, and he goes on from Tiger Woods to talk about, hey, Jimmy, how the fuck are What's you? What's up, Jimmy? How you doing, man? Uh, he goes on to talk about Arnold Schwarzenegger, and basically what he gets to is like, you know, how the fuck is anybody out there going to criticize Arnold Schwarzenegger? You know, he fucking becomes a millionaire from working out and uh, ends up, you know, becoming a movie star after he's already become a millionaire by building his own business <laughs> nah. makes more millions of dollars marries the one of the fucking kennedy women becomes a politician and succeeds at it <laughs> it's like that's like if you guys oh uh jimmy apparently has oh uh another fuck, what's that <laughs> oh, sorry i'm catching something in the chat uh yeah, so anyway, uh, Bill Burr goes on to explain that that's basically like if you had suddenly got off the plane in Austria, made a million dollars with your own business, made another million dollars by uh, doing movies there, and then married into their royalty and <laughs> held office. Yeah. You know, and, and you have the nerve to criticize fucking, uh, <laughs> fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger. I, I love Arnold Schwarzenegger, and it's just like the, the fucked up thing is, is I remember my brother – he worked for a huge hotel chain in California. He met a lot of movie stars. He met the Victoria's Secret girls, and he says they do not do a damn fucking thing. They don't put their coats on. They don't no, carry they the shit. purses. So I was thinking to myself, I was like, no wonder famous people just do drugs and drink all the time. They they don't have anything to do. Like they don't they they have to get on a plane that they own. They have to go into a limo that they probably own, and they just have to go certain places. No wonder they do drugs. They're probably fucking bored. They don't have to really work for a living. We do not hate you, Jimmy. We love Jimmy. Yeah, who who says that? Uh, 
Yeah, Chelsea. Uh, Chel- sexy. Chel- Chelsea, you idiot. <laughs> I know, Chelsea. but there's sixes in there. I, I, I should oh, watch. whatever. By the way, Greg, I think we need to boost our, our gamma I'm levels. I'm working on We're it. getting comments. <laughs> oh, we are? Yeah, we're getting comments about our... It's a good thing you're all pasty white being so dark in the dark clothes. We just see your heads. Yeah, I was going to comment and say, does it look dark to everybody else? But uh, Yeah, it's fine. And, and thanks for My uh, sister-in-law is watching. Hello, Katie. Thanks for joining us. Oh, your sister-in-law. Nice. What's up, mm-hmm. Katie? How are you doing? Jimmy he says. Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, Alf has given Pee-wee a hand job. Uh, no, that's Pee-wee's hand, actually. <laughs> yeah, Pee- Pee-wee's got his own hand down yeah, his that, pants. Yeah, that's his own hand. Because Pee-wee has always had his hand down his pants. I like it, though, when all that fucking Weinstein shit was coming out and everything, and people were posting memes of Pee Wee Herman. He was like the only guy to keep his hands, the only star. <laughs> to keep his hands yeah, to himself. To keep his hands to himself. Yeah, we posted that on our Facebook, I think, actually. Yeah. Oh, that does remind me. Uh, uh, Greg, old cocaine Greg here. Old cocaine Greg. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what happens. Yeah, that's why. That's why I played it. Direct from the Clinton County Medium Security Correctional Institute. Rock to you, Roy. Here we go. It was in Clinton County, but whatever. I tried. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. I like the sound clip. I think it's. I think it's. I put a lot of time and effort into that. It was wrong. <laughs> oh, I still like the beer of the week thing. I mean, you did. All you had to do was look up where State College is. <laughs> hey, by the way, guys, you you out there? In, uh, <laughs> I like that. That's Jay's voice. That's Jay's voice right there. I yeah, I put a lot of effects on it though. Yeah. Uh, but like I was saying, uh, cocaine Greg here. He made a Instagram for us now. So if you like spicy memes, oh my God, Greg, you're, now we're worse. blinding. <laughs> yeah, I know. We're all, I'm, I'm fucking with it. Right? <laughs> we can hook them up Just with a talking. ring light. The sad part is, Jimmy, we actually have a pretty good lighting set up here, but we we played with our cameras. We're, we we moved to it from OBS to XSplit. Yeah, and now our camera settings are all different. And it looks looks different. Yeah. Um. But like I was saying, we have an Instagram now, and if you like uh memes and stuff like that i've been trying to post something once a day on it and i have been doing that we, so, we have an instagram yeah we have an instagram now it is openly hostile oh, yeah, opinions so find us on instagram i post some funny pictures here and there if you like that kind of stuff so uh yeah check that we're out we're also on facebook twitter all Tw- the usual Twitter, google plus Twitter. although nobody uses google plus what is google yeah. plus oh my god my sister's watching what's oh. up tara how you doing <laughs> say hi in the chat tara wait is this is this that one what no, this no. is no, 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 no. This isn't my ex. That's the one that shall not be named. Yeah, if you say her name no, three times, she shows up like Beetlejuice. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's the same name as that one. What? Who's that? Nothing. Oh no. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. They have the same name. <laughs> yeah. That's like when I when I met Megan, I was like, I dated a lot of Megans. It must just be my thing. It's like Gordon. His was Sarah. <laughs> yeah, he did have a lot of Sarahs. Yeah. I remember he referred to one as the evil H because she yeah. spelled her name with a S A R A H. Yeah, I think I saw her recently, but I can't remember if it was her or not. She looked like a cokehead. I wonder what the hell. What do cokeheads look like? I don't know. Why don't you look in the mirror, Greg? <laughs> uh, let's see. They're they're about five seven, balding nah. uh, beard. <laughs> Balding. That was weeks ago. Bald as fuck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but like we were saying, yeah, follow us on Instagram. That's pretty much it. Guys, you need to fix your web address on Facebook. Oh, yeah? Good job, Jay. You have one fucking job. What's that it mean? was probably the old address. What happened? What do you mean you need to fix our address? <laughs> I don't know what to do with my hands. Oh, no. I, I, I already changed that. Apparently, it's not correct. Oh, uh, what, what do you wrong? mean? Maybe you did. Probably. I don't know what's going on. But uh, you two talk amongst yourselves. I'll fix it right now. Yeah. So uh, Greg's messing with the contrast right now. Uh, so if it's good, just let us know. Uh, yeah, Greg's pretty much we'll our engineer. Uh, guys, you need to fix here. your web address. Yeah, I don't know what that means. I have no idea. I know what it means. I'm yeah. fixing it. Relax yeah, now. Jared hadn't updated it from Theaterverse for like months. And oh, he okay. fucked it up. We're also gonna have to upgrade. Did I spell wrong? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Probably. Uh, we're also gonna have to. Um, change some of our youtube stuff we i guess jay told me that google is discontinuing their shortener their link shortener uh services. The, the ones that already exist are still fine but i'm eventually oh, okay. gonna switch it over to ours anyway our uh, our, our our address is fine oh yeah huh uh, I, I just checked it man right how now. many drinks have you had <laughs> 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 like jesus man what, what's going on here <laughs> can you fade casey out completely I know, we've tried you love I probably, me, Kevin. I probably could. We you fucking put love me, him. Kevin. Shut your fucking filthy Jew mouth. We already, <laughs> we already kicked his ass out of the director's chair. Oh, parents. I said a racial slur. We're off of Twitch, probably. <laughs> Twitch I mean, is I probably... I turn mics off, too. It's oh, like yeah. These buttons, I think. <laughs> Actually, let's just ban Kevin from the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Megan says, doesn't matter the light you guys use. You're all still going to be ugly. We love oh, you, yeah. too. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. 
I'm glad I spent so much fucking money on you, bitch. <laughs> it's all about money. It's always about That's money. a huge bitch. <laughs> <laughs> For God's sake, one shot. I'm busy, bitch. Is what it is. Oh, only one tonight. Jesus Christ. She's com- we're completely rearranging our, our uh, living room and shit. Oh, right. really? Yeah, we're moving all of the gym equipment into the living room because it's oh, bigger. And we moved our living room into the smaller room where the gym used to be. Nice. It's much cozier in the living room now. I'm gonna. I like the colors of your house. I like how they're all like brownish, like autumn colors. I think it's really nice in there. Yeah, we picked them all out and asked them if we could do that, and they're like, "Oh, we'll do that when we do it." So. No one asked. Don't blame me. No one asked what? What are you talking about? Because I spent money on you. <laughs> okay, to the second now. Uh, uh, yeah. So, uh, me and Jay are done being fashion designers. We just got like sort of like stupidly like we were like, ooh, I like the I like the fall colors. Oh. <laughs> I was like, uh, I think you're an autumn. <laughs> yeah. it's oh, I nice just love these too. colors. What's that? It's very nice in here. Nah, Why is. is there a green screen over there? Because uh, uh, we, we used it for one video <laughs> one time. Oh. Yeah. We wanted to put the green screen back here a while ago, but it's just not big enough. Yeah. So uh, if we make that. And I'm, then I'm and then uh, then Jimmy Knapp and uh, the McNasty cast started doing that, so now it looked like we're biting off of them. So we're not doing that. They have a green screen. Yeah, they, they, you haven't watched in a while, have no, you? No, I haven't. I, I was just in fucking Scranton, Scranton. Yeah, no, they've had it for a while now. Oh, okay, I haven't seen it. Then. This Casey trying out for Queer Eye for the straight guy. Thanks, Kevin. <laughs> Appreciate you. <laughs> My chat doesn't update at all. Really? Yeah. Oh, huh. I don't know. My, are, are you connected to the Wi-Fi? Yeah. Uh, I don't know then. Oh well, mine. I, I you know get... what? Mine got behind and it took a while to update. Huh. Maybe you can just refresh it. I gotta admit though, all, all the stuff that we're streaming and shit like that, and all of our phones, I gotta give it to Comcast, man. <laughs> like, and, yeah. And oh, do you have Comcast because it's faster? <laughs> yeah. Oh, B- Bill Slowski. <laughs> <laughs> those old ass commercials. Yeah. If you don't remember those commercials, look, com- look up uh, Comcast Bill Slowski. They're about turtles and it's fucking hilarious. Love it. It took me a second to. to you know, get that right there, but I got it. I gotcha. Got it. Yeah. Um, All right. So I have a couple more news stories to get to before we fucking co- go completely off the rails today. <laughs> so, hey, uh, a Russian woman who is only 27 years old. Uh, here's Russian medicine for you. They they fucking embalmed her alive. I actually heard about this. Megan told me about it. Yeah. Today it's... or oh, when was that? I think it was um, shit. What day it was is irrelevant. She no, but I it. think she told me about it Monday. Yeah. Um. Did she? She ended up dying because well, yeah, they, they put, thought it was saline, but they used embalming fluid. Yeah, they used they used uh, formaldehyde, oh, and uh, it Christ. fucking embalmed her alive. Oh my god, man! Can you imagine? What a way pain? to go! Oh Jesus, man! Oh man! I mean, what what a fucking way to go! They they tried injecting her with like fifty two different drugs, I guess, to try to like flush it out of her system. You know, because the best way to solve drug problems is to inject more drugs. Great. Yeah, and and Soviet <laughs> Russia surgery kills you. <laughs> yeah, they fucked up her saline drip, and they did that. Does no one check this shit? It's Russia, man. Like, Apparently. In some parts of Russia. It's, did she it, criticize Putin? <laughs> yeah, probably. It wouldn't fucking surprise me, man. Putin. Yeah. yeah. Um, you suck at the soundboard. I know. I'm sorry. Where was it? There we go. I, I relinquished the soundboard, y'all. y'all. You all do not take your responsibility <laughs> seriously. We'll do that. We'll do that. We'll do a fail trombone for me, a sad trombone. So this poor poor woman, not even 30 years old left, you know, goes in for some fucking sh- surgery, and they inject her with fucking formalin. <laughs> and, you know, uh, the the mother went and searched for the doctors and found them, quote, unquote, in a huddle, discussing how to tell us that a terrible mistake had been made. And they didn't admit exactly what happened. Well, yeah, because who wants to say, hey, guess what? You know that saline that should have uh, rehydrated her? Yeah, we bombed her alive. See, I, like, I think what really happened is that they were too busy Russian. <laughs> <laughs> Where, where's our Russian <laughs> viewer speaking <laughs> with? She hasn't been online. I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't know. I haven't yeah, seen people her. People don't watch this shit anymore, by the way. Yeah, they do. No. Sometimes. Slightly. The Only neighbors. slightly. Well, yeah, speaking of which, all you guys, if you enjoy share with your friends. For the love of God, we <laughs> yeah. need some viewers. Yeah, share us. Because uh, if not, we have Kevin on here talking about his wangs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but I did read that. That just fucking sucks because only in Russia would that happen. <laughs> um, actually, I don't know because I was reading some stats the other day. And uh, I thought it was pretty interesting that like one of the top three killers of humans in America is uh, Dr. Malpractice. That's really wait. It's not guns. No, 
That's like that's, way that's really weird. Oh yeah, I know. But hey, hey, to everyone else, guns are the problem. Um, yeah, guns are like way down low. Like hardly anyone dies to guns compared to like heart disease, car accidents. But I think like third is what most Americans die is fucking doctor malpractice. I was like, who's teaching these fucking assholes? To, like, holy shit, man. It was like some crazy number and I couldn't believe it. I never thought that would be a top killer in America right now. But hey, I guess what it is what it is. Um, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> wow, so we're on episode 80 right now. Yes, we are. I think so. We are on episode 80. I'm just checking to make sure that everything's functioning properly and we are tweeted out to everybody and whatnot, it appears oh, so, you, just no one cares. 26 minutes later, <laughs> now well, you're checking. Well, you know, whatever. Hell, like 24 <laughs> more episodes, it'll be two years. Yeah, nobody's fucking watching on Periscope today. Where the hell are all you yeah, people there tonight? is. There's well, Jimmy Knapp. One. There's oh, Chel we got three Sexia. Viewers, huh? <laughs> There's Jimmy Knapp. There's Megan. She's on there. I don't know. Actually, I'm I'm really surprised. Um, Trevor hasn't been on. We haven't seen him. Yeah, lately. it's been a couple of weeks. Yeah, I feel like he probably gave up on us. Yeah, he probably did. He's like, fuck. These I just talked to him. No, I just talked did to him you? like a week or two ago. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, Casey, you should become a doctor. Yeah, if I want to. That's what I was saying. I was like, if you want to be a serial killer, just become a doctor. <laughs> you could fucking just kill a bunch of people. They do kind of catch up with you <laughs> after a while. Uh, I don't know. You ever seen Dexter? <laughs> it's a fictional show you're not in my eyes god damn it <laughs> yeah because you are dexter you just haven't killed yet yes i am thank you thank you i like using sorry what the fuck <laughs> it was a chainsaw he'd definitely really be a quiet. proctologist kevin says that's a huge bitch damn right man no i i would be i would be a health doctor so i could tell these women that they're that's a huge bitch <laughs> i'm like put the fucking fork down you fucking fat obese piece of shit that's what i'd be like TKAZ, LOLS, hey, welcome TKAZ, thank you for shopping in. 404, is that from Error 404? <laughs> Maybe. Eh, it might be, I don't know. So, um, uh, yeah, my next story, Elon Musk worries that AI research will create an immortal dictator. <laughs> I don't know if... Like, uh, self-driving cars, though? What, like, yeah, I mean, Elon's great, but he's really worried about AI just being terrible. You gotta uh, let me know who Elon Musk is. Don't know who Tesla. he is. Really? Yep, don't know. Who is he? Tesla guy? Do Tesla you ever guy. open, like, the internet? <laughs> I, I don't know who he is. He, I don't. he launched he, a he fucking could... space shuttle into the fucking... Oh, he's that yes, guy. Okay. He, uh, yeah, I never he fucking know his name. He marketed a fucking flamethrower. Oh, that yeah, guy. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, see, I'm bad with names, so I don't fucking oh, know. I, anyway, yeah. he worries that AI research will create a mortal dictator. He's been warning for months now about how AI research scares the shit out of him. It, it scares the shit out of me, man. They fucking made movies about it. Right. Well, yeah, I, I was going to say, at this point, I'm pretty sure Elon just wants to write the next Fear Factory album. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. There we go. Um, yeah, and you know what even scares me most most about it? Social media. We are so connected to the internet. What if Skynet fucking gets a hold of the internet? We're all <laughs> fucked. And you know what the last Terminator movie was about? Was a... Um, Genesis. Social, yeah, it was a social media platform like Facebook called Genesis, and it fucking infected everybody, and it went like crazy. Social media is the way we're connected and everything like that. He's not wrong, dude. <laughs> like, he is pretty smart. Him and my grandma. Apparently, grandma worries about AI too. And Mandy says, "I'll jump on here for you guys." Thanks for joining in Periscope. Thanks, Mandy. <laughs> Who is Elon Musk? Jesus, Casey, slow down on the pills. Yeah, all we <laughs> just do is slow down. And all we some. know is that it was us that scorched the sky. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Not, but see, Kevin, here, here's the thing. Um, I work for a living, so uh, I don't have time to just sit around and read everything. Fucking asshole. Dudes, there's AI that predicts <laughs> crypto pieces at prices already. Yeah. They're getting pretty crazy with that shit, but I, I think we're still a long ways away from actual autonomous AI. Yeah. Uh, and that's the thing. Did you see these sex robots lately, man? I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> why thinking, do we? Why does this show continue over and over again to return to sex robots? I don't. I think know, you dude. are literally just trying Have to you avoid seen women. See them entirely. lately. They are so real. Like I'm like, holy fuck. Like the one I just saw a couple days ago. Um, I was like, I would fuck the shit out of that. Like I was checking it out. I was like, God damn it. Better watch out, Megan. You got competition. Uh, yeah. Actually, that's the funny thing. Uh. The, the sex robot I was reading about, uh, the article was, sex robots can be hacked to kill you. <laughs> so it's exactly like a real woman. Yeah, this that's point. what the top comment was, was so it's like really being with a woman. <laughs> Look up the Atlas Project. Enjoy. Oh, boy. Oh, Jesus. I don't, yeah. 
See, Kevin Kevin will probably bitch at me because I don't know what that is. I don't know what it is. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I have no idea. It sounds like something. Uh, well, that is definitely not the right thing. Oh, wait. Maybe. Uh, Atlas offers dynamic experimental learning that's been developed and refined over the past four decades. Yeah, but it's still not. Is that Greg's inmate number? Yes, it is. Right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's still not, uh, still not like autonomous yet. No. Yeah, I don't know. I've no, I've I've heard nothing about it. I have no idea what it is. Uh, oh, excuse me, oh, Jesus. We have two Chelseas in here now. Yay, Chelseas! We got extra Chelseas. We got Chelseas times two. I'm surprised Chelsea's in here. She's really sick. No, oh, oh, trust me, she's sick. All right. Yeah, she's sick in the head. Uh, but no, yeah, she's uh, she called off work. I think the last couple of days. That's how sick she's been. So hope you feel better, Chelsea. Get those AIDS out of you. I don't know. I know people who. Uh... Okay, dot four down. What? I th- shot. I think she meant to type. Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ, you're gonna have a mess when you go home. <laughs> I always do. Either that, or she's gonna be laying butt naked, be like, "Take me, Jay. Take me. She's, Take she's me not... and <laughs> me in the." <laughs> she, she does tend to get a little horny when she drinks. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of women do. I think a lot of women shouldn't drink, to tell you the truth, because they get a little out of control, but that's just me. That's just me. (laughs) I can throw a cinder block 80 feet. Oh, it can throw a cinder block 80 feet. I thought you said Uh, you can. I'm like, well, uh, good. I know. I thought you That's what I thought. I was like, God damn, man. Did you do shot put in high school? Damn, I've been working out, but I can't do that. It can jump four feet. Are you talking about those robo, those robot dogs? Because I've seen them. They're fucking creepy. Yeah, they are kind of creepy. Where they know if they're falling or not, and they know how to catch themselves. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, sorry, we gotta, we gotta interrupt. We gotta interrupt. What? Uh, this episode is nobody brought to else you by... pays attention. <laughs> Actually, What'd I you was. Say? What'd you say to him? <laughs> he's, a, he's doing it. He's doing oh, okay. it. Actually, I was waiting for Casey to shut up. To be honest with you, I didn't know. What Go that was. fuck yourself. Someone's got to talk in here. Hold God on, damn I'm gonna it. turn you off. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, this episode has been brought to you by Private Internet Access. Private Internet Access is a VPN. That allows you to surf the internet without your ISP, government entities, or any of the above seeing what you do online. You can use it to protect your privacy. Make sure that when you connect to a coffee shop Wi-Fi hotspot that you know that your banking account information is going to be safe. And the best way to get it is to help us out and use our link, which is ohonet.pw slash ohovpn. Again, that's ohonet.pw slash ohovpn. It's only a few dollars a month. It works on all the Windows, it works on Linux, it works on Android. You can download the app, super easy to use, super easy to protect your privacy. And on the Android app, you can even use it to filter out ads without rooting your phone, which is nice. So give it a shot. Check it out, ohonet.pw slash ohovpn, and sign up through that link, and it'll kick us back a couple bucks, and you get it for only a few dollars. Money! Right. Yes, give us money. So, uh, yeah, that. And then uh, next, world's hottest pepper sends man to the ER with thunderclap headaches, which I... The fuck is a thunder... Is that, like, from Thor? <laughs> that sounds like Thor's coming out with a hammer and beating you in the fucking snogging with it. I don't know, but it sounds pretty bad. Yeah, uh, man, whatever. People are fucking stupid. Natural selection. That's what this is. Natural selection. Go kill yourself. Uh, So one brave man eating one of the hottest peppers in the world came with an unexpected side effect, days of splitting headaches that prompted a trip to the emergency room. If you are going to eat a Carolina Reaper and you do not expect repercussions, you are an idiot. (laughs) You need a helmet and water wings to eat soup. Well, that's the thing. Like, I fucking, I work at a restaurant, okay, and we have these wings. They're fucking god-awful. They're so spicy. It's, like, insane. And... People are like, oh, this is stuff out. I can eat it. And I'm like, well, the last guy that ate it puked out his parents' windows the whole way home. They're like, oh, it sounds great. I'll do it. I'm like, what? My personal favorite is when people do it and then uh, go to the bathroom afterwards. You know they didn't wash their shit. Oh, yeah. Well, that happened out. one time. This guy went in. He just ate them. He ate, like, a half a wing. They, he was, like, screaming because of so hot. So he went into the bathroom to go to the bathroom, and he forgot to wash his hands. And he comes out, and he's grabbing himself. He's just like, oh, jeez, oh, jeez. It's like, yeah, man, you can't fucking. Our one friend got a p- little piece on her lip, and she had, like, a blister. It looked like she had herpes. 
Jay, why does the TV keep beeping? I have no idea. <laughs> Just uh, turn it's it off. Genesis. It's Genesis. It's Genesis. Yeah. yeah. Skynet. We, we're insulting the AI, and now it's coming to get us. It probably, it's learning, man. It's, I do have a computer hooked up to it, and it's a pretty powerful computer. Yeah. And, and here's the thing. Will someone let me know this? What the fuck's going on with Mark, Mark Jerk Off a Berg, or whatever the fuck his goddamn name is? Why did he have to appear in front of Congress today? Do you guys know anything about that? Uh, there was a bunch of data being harvested, and it wasn't disclosed properly. So, so he was just gathering a bunch of data and he didn't like keep it private or what? I guess. Oh, because I saw him in the Senate today. I was like, oh, he must be in deep shit if he's in front of the fucking Senate. Uh, my wife says, damn, I'm fucked. That'll be after the show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, T. Kaz says on that note, baby wipes after wings, gentlemen, baby wipes will not s- not solve this problem for you like these wings are ri- ridiculous dude they're insane like, like I they're, said, they're they're really just <laughs> they only exist for the simple purpose of punishing those guys it goes in i want the hottest wings that you have <laughs> yeah one they of those guys fucking they're like itching their balls on their sand they're like hey i'm gonna go home and fuck my wife uh tara and brooke uh just joined facebook what's up guys what's up uh mandy <laughs> says uh or fuck. now well you have the bottle of jack there yeah you can yeah. just shove that up there a little bit yeah, uh, Melvin Durnhammer's watching too. What's up, Mel? How you doing, man? You came in last week. Man, I'm not getting any of these notifications. Oh, you know what? It's because they're your friends. Oh, that's, that's right. Oh, yeah, that's right. why. Oh, I don't have Greg doesn't have any. <laughs> they all died. Witch it's Hazel. Uh, I don't know if Witch Hazel would really fix it. What yeah. does it? Does it cut like the? Does it cut the the capsaicin? I have no idea. I I don't know. I don't. Anybody I, know that? <coughs> Kevin, you know everything. What's yeah. the answer to that? Yeah, Kevin, you know everything. <laughs> Get in here. And I'm going to prove you wrong in that Wang thing. <laughs> I, I hope you well, know that. Because yeah, I, I guarantee it's Muhammad. It's not Wang. I so are you going to have a Wang Wang contest? Yeah. <laughs> oh, hold on. Do you understand? Oh, wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. What the fuck? Where's Mama Bear? I don't Stop know. Crying. She was all upset because she missed the, missed the show last week. And I sent her an invite when on, on the Facebook and she didn't come in. I don't know. Send her a message on Facebook. Tell her to get her ass in. I don't know. She misses every once in a while. I remember that one time she wasn't showing up for a couple weeks, and uh, she she hates when she misses the show. But uh, apparently, her daughter pounces on her and gives her shit when she watches the show. So sometimes, oh man, funny. that's what monkeys do. They're like, "Here's my poop." <laughs> Kevin says, "Witch Hazel won't do shit." <laughs> See, there's Kevin. There's Kevin thinking he knows everything again. Witch Hazel is good for everything, especially hemorrhoids. Yes, uh, I do uh, uh, do need some Witch Hazel on occasion. That reminds me, I'm sorry about the show. I think I have Crohn's disease. <laughs> I think I might too. <laughs> I've been having such bad diarrhea. Some, some days when I wake up, I'm gonna. I resemble an old woman. Yeah. So yeah. You know. my butthole looks like an old woman's all fucking wrinkly and just sagging it looks like a pair of old titties dildo saggins yeah dildo saggins <laughs> that's pretty funny actually oh, there we go <laughs> stole it from south park <laughs> oh really dildo swaggins i never I think got into actually. south park i thought it was just i don't know stupid uh, um the last like two seasons have been they try to be really topical and it just they're always really topical but like the last two seasons they just took it too far i think and oh, they really? weren't really that good I remember, I don't know, the last thing I heard about them, they said that they're conservative, I guess. No. Yeah, they were like, uh, no. yeah, uh, that they're really conservative, and people were like, yeah, it's like the new coming out. And I'm like, yeah, it sort of is. <laughs> like, No, they're not conservative. Like, to say to say your political view, it's sort of like, am I allowed to? <laughs> like, I don't know, but whatever. We don't really talk about politics on here. TCAS so. says, I've had it for years. I just deal with it like a savage. Oh, yeah, IBSD, uh, irritable bowel syndrome. Fuck glutens. Or maybe that's what it is, because Megan was saying that to me. She's like, maybe you're just really sensitive to gluten. I'm like, I don't fucking know, but... I don't know. So gluten's instantly... This, uh, this Cutting gluten out of your diet's instantly the savior for everything. Huh? It might be. I don't know. It's in everything. You, you know me. I fucking... I poop, like... I'll eat, and like five seconds later, I'll have to poop. Well, you're lactose intolerant, and you eat cheese all the time. I fucking didn't have any cheese today, and I fucking pooped like a fucking goddamn mobster. It was ridiculous. It was just so insane. I had, what I have today? I had eggs, um, eggs, home fries, and sausage, and Grease, toast, Casey, and toast. Grease. I know, but still, like, I Grease fucking... Grease makes everything move. I took I took the last bite of my, my home fries, and I was, like, shitting in the bathroom in five seconds. God awful. Yeah, he's talking, like, lots of blood, like, cups of blood. Oh, Fuck it. No, uh, I don't yeah. poop blood yet. 
Oh, that reminds me. Actually, when I was going to the casino, I had to shit so bad. I uh, stopped and just shit in the woods off the highway. <laughs> Kristen says, night, guys. I'm too old and pregnant to be up this late. Till next time. We'll see you. Thanks for joining us. It was uh, a lot of fun having you here. Uh, right. We do this every week, Tuesday at 8 o'clock. It's, it's, like, it's 8.40. <laughs> She's freaking about pregnant. To work. She's pregnant. Maybe she gets up at 5 in the morning. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. If you're pregnant, you probably do. That thing's like kicking, uh, kicking your bladder. My mother-in-law. Like soccer ball. My mother-in-law has joined us. Hello, Margie. Come Hello, there. Margie. How are you doing? Oh, this, this is probably bad. <laughs> oh, she knows what this show's about. Yeah, I hope. I hope. I you. mean, we're we're talking about cups of blood coming out of T. Kaz's asshole. <laughs> you know. That that's that's why I don't think I have it because I guess you poop a lot of blood and everything like that. But there's something wrong, dude. I might have irritable bowel syndrome. I think that's what it is. Yeah, probably. Yeah, Megan. You Megan. irritate my bowels. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, there we go. I'm getting better at that. Uh, I was, Megan was dying. Like, I, I was like, I have to poop really bad. And I know there wasn't a convenience store for a long period of time. So, like, she thought I was joking. And all of a sudden, I just start pulling over and she just starts fucking losing. I'm like, grab me those McDonald's napkins right now. And I remember fucking like looking <laughs> and there was this little over in Bankman. And thank God, because I went down there and I hit by a tree and I shit so bad, dude. And there was corn in it for some Did reason. Did you like lift up? <laughs> oh, dude, it was, dude, it was god awful. Like talking about, you know, that rocket going into space. I was about to, dude. It was so bad. And Megan was cracking up. I'm like, I had to fucking go, dude. That <laughs> you are so this poor guy has to shit blood. And you're worried about having to go every so often, <laughs> stacking cups like Chinese kids. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ, T Cas, what the fuck is wrong? With you? Are we That's still pretty... on Twitch? Yeah, I think I don't know to tell you the truth. <laughs> see if they banned us yet. I don't. I don't see. Nobody's anyone. watching us on Twitch. Nobody is. We didn't make any like Twitch friends. Nah. Uh, <laughs> Twi Twitch is very, very community heavy. Like if you, yeah, if you're not following us, you pretty much. It's hard to get a following on Twitch. It really is. You need to. You need to like do that. You're the gamer amongst us. I know, but I, and I'm the first one to game stream. Go figure. I don't even know if we're allowed to stream on Twitch. To tell you the truth, because we're not really a game. There's a game um, or a talk show channel, I think. But I think that's just for game shows. But like I said, I seen in uh, on the IRL channel just women sitting there with their titties hanging out, going ha 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 kawaii. Like, whatever the fuck they're doing, it's just weird. Like I said, if you're ever you, bored... You have an anger issue. I do. I know you, I you do. You need counseling. I don't like counseling. Because when you go to counseling... It could be worse. It could be like TCAS and be shitting like solo cups full of blood. Yeah, that's true. I'm glad I'm not doing that yet. <laughs> he says, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, like counseling, I hate it because you can tell they don't give a fuck. Like, you're just spilling out all your problems and shit, and they're just sitting there, like, looking at their watch. They're like, God, is this guy done talking yet? My couch is actually pretty cool. We don't yeah. talk about shit. We do you know, bullshit for an hour. Really? To be I mean, honest. He makes me pee in a cup, and that's it. <laughs> to be honest with you, I kind of do that when you're talking on the show. I just keep watching my watch. When's this motherfucker going to shut the hell Fuck up? Fuck you guys. Someone's got to do it. From what I hear, if I'm not on the show, yeah, from it, now it on, doesn't doing, go we're, well. We're, we're doing replays from now on. It, it's it's because I can't, I can't carry the show by myself. Greg says four words. <laughs> and Amanda was feeling a little uh, stage fright that night. Oh, was she? Yes. Yeah, I still I call it bloodletting. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ, TK. <laughs> you need a doctor, man. Uh, how about it? We got one. That's a huge bitch. <laughs> we got one viewer who pops in occasionally, refuses to fuck his wife because she's fat. Yeah. Yeah. We got another him? guy who has. Like, I don't know. What has, was his he name? He just comes in every so Maybe often. Maybe she killed him. Probably. If if my husband was talking shit about me like that, I'd fucking kill him too. Margie says, "Isn't this like self counseling? This this is exactly it. That's what we do. Yeah, we counsel, basically, we bitch to all of you people instead of paying. If it wasn't for, for the show, I probably would have off myself a while ago. <laughs> uh, you know, you you are a fickle human being, and and uh, not always the most dedicated person in the world. I'm shocked you have never missed an episode besides the scheduled like being out of town thing." Ah, uh, yeah, I know. I I don't know what it was. Even back when we used to do it at noon, you know, and that's like, ah, uh, yeah, I still got up, man. I don't. Know I have a that. hard time getting up in the morning. Like I was talking to Megan today. I was like, uh, it was like eleven thirty or something like that. I'm like, I'm not used to being up this early. She's like, it's eleven thirty. I'm like, yeah, you're used to it. I'm not because I have horrible sleeping problems. Like last night at the hotel, I don't know what it was. I think it was too warm or something. I just couldn't get to sleep. We laid down at like. 11 30 or something like that i think i didn't get to bed till like three in the morning because i just i can't fucking sleep i have horror and i'm on sleep meds that's the thing like i oh you ba we basically have phds 
Yeah, no. I almost said that word. Yeah, we can't. We, can't, <laughs> yeah, you don't, we cannot say that on the show. <laughs> I want to, but because I think it's a fun word to say, but, but we we're not allowed to. <laughs> not not according yeah, to who iTunes. Who said we're not allowed to? iTunes will ban us. Oh, they'll really? Ban us, they'll ban us in a heartbeat. Oh yeah. my god, yeah, Fucking pricks. <laughs> and uh, and unfortunately for us, iTunes it, it, like. The vast majority of podcatchers pull from the iTunes library, so if we're not on it, we're screwed. Yeah. Well, I'm t- wait, what's this? You look at <laughs> those motherfuckers. Uh, oh, Margie okay. says, Casey, you look like you're looking right at me when you look at the camera. That's freaky. Yeah, <laughs> I'm actually right in front of the camera, so when I look ahead, it looks like I'm looking at you. I'm sucking your soul out. I'm sucking your soul. We, we used to have Greg there, but then his bald head would reflect off and like put a shine on the camera. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> cocaine camera Greg. Um, Kevin, where did you go, Casey? I went, it was Megan's birthday yesterday, so I took her to the casino in Wilkes-Barre, and we stayed at a hotel. I still wish I had thought of that. I would love to use that, use that friggin' thing. It was fun, dude. Sure. And, like, she's never been to a casino, so I thought it would just be fun. I don't know. She said she had fun. She could be lying to me. I don't fucking know. (laughs) She's like, you're so sweet. No one ever does things for me. I'm like, I don't think this is sweet. This is just me. If it's someone's birthday, I'm going to do something nice for you. You know, you let me throw it in you. The least I can do is take you somewhere. <laughs> See, no, normally it's the son-in-law who says that you have no soul, not the mother-in-law who says it first. Jesus. <laughs> She's like, I have no soul. Oh, your last name's Hein? Oh, you're German. <laughs> well, no, that's her married name. Oh, that's your married name? Well, whoever you married is German. I am German, too. My parents, my mom's maiden name was Schreckengost. Yeah. <laughs> your, your family toasted some Jews, man. Oh, yeah. God, oh, yeah. Oh, Schreckengost. Wait, we say that. We can't say. <laughs> I, I know. Isn't that terrible? Uh, actually, I my, didn't say we were going to. I said his family did. My, um, Like, you had a concentration camp name. Oh, yeah. You, I guarantee it. I guarantee it. it. The Schreckengost. <laughs> no, that that was the execution. MM4956. Yeah, that's his prisoner. No, that's Greg. <laughs> uh, Greg. Greg doesn't talk much. He's basically an engineer. Yeah, you've only been, what he well, does done this like maybe funny, a month though. and a half, two months with us. Yeah. He's new. It used to be just me and Jay, uh, and then he got out of prison. So uh, We gave him something to do. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, you keep that yeah. away from parks. That I don't care. Uh, I think mean, TKAZ is drinking, too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, yes, Bob's very German. Yeah, I'd say so. He's having prison flashbacks. Yeah, he's got to watch his ass. He doesn't, yeah. doesn't say nothing unless he gets shanked. No, my uncle, he always said, uh, his his dad would always say, yeah, our nephew or our cousin is, you know, Hitler, because that's how German they are. But, yeah, we're, we're really, really fucking German. You know, I, speaking of Hitler, I saw a... <laughs> that's a great way to segue into something, isn't it? Yeah. I saw a picture the other day. It made me, uh, me kind of laugh. Like, there was this big... Um, like, I think a school burned down in Texas back in the day or something like that. Either way, like, 32 children died or something like that. Hitler sent a, a card to them <laughs> to say, uh, you know, I'm sorry for the terrible tragedy of losing all those those young people. It's like, you know something is bad when fucking Hitler's like, dude, that's terrible. Dude, that's... So, no, but the funny thing, they weren't Jewish. <laughs> like, that's you, probably you why see, he said it. I'm just picturing that, uh, that, 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 um, that movie scene. You yeah, know, the, the the meme that you see floating around, the Hitler reacts. Yeah, things. that's just <laughs> disturbing. Like, uh, if you see ask. children, <laughs> they are dead. Yeah, send them a fruit basket. <laughs> <laughs> that's just disturbing because that just shows you how much he hated Jewish people. Because I remember uh, reading a lot about the Holocaust and everything, and for babies, they didn't want to waste bullets on them. They thought that a bullet was worth more than a baby, so they just throw them against the wall as hard as they could. Yeah, uh, it's just like <laughs> fucked up. And actually. It's funny we were talking about the Holocaust because I just seen this really eerie picture uh, of they went to these gas chambers recently and just took a bunch of pictures of them. All you see is just fucking claw marks on the walls. I'm like, oh, Ugh. Jesus Christ, dude. That's so bad. TKAZ oh. says, oh, I'm like three fodies deep. Oh, three you fodies. Can't, you can't say 40s. It has to be fodie. Yeah, it has to be fodie. Uh, <laughs> Hitler ruined that mustache style for everybody. Uh <laughs> I don't know. It yeah. worked out pretty good for what's his name, who was uh, Charlie Chaplin. Yeah, was Charlie first. Chap- I know, but still, like I don't know. There's still Charlie Chapman movies. People still watch them. They don't want to just toast a Jew after watching them. <laughs> God, we're going to hell. <laughs> oh my God, I already, uh, I already am going to hell because I think already should, there. I'm already. I there. think they should televise Special Olympics boxing. <laughs> but. Uh, uh, yeah, you know, uh, Hitler ruined that mustache style for everybody, and Gigi Allen ruined the opposite of it. <laughs> Gigi Allen, dude. 
Oh man, uh, I fucking love that Gigi guy. was insane. Yeah, he was. I remember him being on like the Jerry Springer show and shit way back in the day. Yeah, uh, everyone was booing him and shit like that, and they were giving him crap because he rapes women on stage and everything. And Jerry was like, "Well, what if a a, a, go, a woman, you know, what if she didn't want to be raped on stage?" And he goes, "There's an exit door there. You don't have to be there." He's like, "If you're coming to my show, you have to take the consequences." And Jerry goes, well, what if they're trying to get to the accent? He's like, they better get there before I do. <laughs> it's like, Jesus Christ. Gigi Allen is such a nut. Oh, yeah. I remember for his 30th birthday or something like that, he, all he, they were like, what do you want for your birthday? And he's like, I want four lesbians to piss in my mouth. So he, he just laid on the floor and let lesbians piss in his mouth because that's what he wanted for his birthday. Yeah, he was on a whole nother level, dude. Sometimes when I give Bob a face shave, I give him the Hitler mustache. <laughs> I would do that too, uh, dude. That's uh... <laughs> I would do that too, just to fuck with people. They'd be like, "Hey, I want you know the the twist," and I'm like, "Yeah, I'll just give you a hit." Tcas says, "You guys ever seen Japanese retarded wrestling? It's magical." No, but I'm looking it up directly after the show. Uh, first of all, <laughs> that is amazing. Just because anything the Japanese do is amazing. Yeah, they they, they are just a culture of insanity. Uh, yeah, I would watch uh, window looking wrestling in a heartbeat. <laughs> they 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 are just a culture of insanity, and I, I believe it's magical because. Because for some reason, everything the Japanese does is cute for some reason. <laughs> like I, It is, man. They they were showing because some guy was talking about this. Uh, he went in to buy um, rat poison. And the pictures of the rats were all cute. And they had cross X's and they were shiny. <laughs> and it was like, it looked like fucking some Japanese anime bullshit. They are a colorful culture. Yeah, they are. They are very, here comes your father-in-law. Oh, is he Yeah, after it? you shave him into a Hitler stash. <laughs> you got some shit to explain. <laughs> No, I'd probably do it, too. I'd probably do it, too. I don't blame you. <laughs> Who are you right. flicking off? People in Facebook. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> person, person in Facebook. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's how we say hi. Greg, <laughs> Greg, talk, by the way. Let's put two tallies on the board. <laughs> yeah, TCAS is definitely drunk. Well, yeah, well, good lick, sleeping ton night. Ton, ton eight. Ton night. <laughs> nah, it's like ton eight. Yo, those reps are, those, those rhymes are ton night. Sorry, that's a bad joke. I'll show you one wait, day. Wait a minute, Tristan, are you supposed to be working? What's that? Me. This guy. Who? Yeah, see, I don't see him. Who? <clears throat> so, well, what's it say? Maybe that's why I can't see the chat, because like, maybe it it's only, only show the friends. Yeah, maybe it'll... No, because look at Mar Marty. No, it, it'll show you the chat, but it doesn't show who comes in, unless they're your friend. No, he has I a friend know. that said something. I don't. I didn't see it either. Maybe Yeah, we're still trying. And that's the thing. I'm not friends with your mother-in-law, but I'm seeing what she's typing. Yeah, this is strange. I, I fucking no Facebook. Idea. Yeah, fucking Facebook. Go fuck yourself, Facebook. Fucking Mark Mark jerk off a berg. You fucking going in front of Congress and being a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> I hate him. <laughs> There's this huge conspiracy that he's a robot. <laughs> Did you ever I read that? He ever... does kind of act a little robotic. There's, like, there's Reddit forums and forums and pages and pages of people proving that he's a robot somehow because they just they say he has no facial expression or anything. The internet gives everybody a voice and everybody chooses to use that voice to spout off bullshit conspiracy theories like turning the freaking frogs gay <laughs> <laughs> and that that Mark Zuckerberg is a uh, is a robot. Yeah, I don't know. I have to look more into what he went to cuz I'm actually interested what he went to Congress for cuz I fucking hate him. I think he's fucking he He's one of those people that is trying to get, like, a fucking worldwide currency. So, like, basically, you just get, like, money all the time for nothing. And I'm like, that's horrible because if the system fails, then everyone's fucked. <laughs> flick, flick my XXX. You can block people other than your friends. Maybe maybe you have a setting there, there Greg. Something like that. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, so, hey, here's another story I got while we have just another couple minutes here. So, apparently, Lake Tahoe is a very... Uh, the very popular uh, vacation destination uh, has visitors facing two thousand dollar fines for minor things like parking or using a hot tub at the wrong time. What? Yeah. What do you mean using a hot? What? How can you use a hot tub at the wrong time? I don't know what the if particular ordinances is, but uh, they apparently the town got disgusted with um, community concerns about the explosive grossing tourists using residential homes for lodging. So, you know, people like doing Airbnbs and things yeah. like that, you know, they're renting out people's houses and they're in residential areas instead of, like, the touristy parts of places. Nah. Uh, so uh, their response to that was to uh, institute $1,000 fines for the person who does something wrong, like parking in the wrong spot or whatever. And uh, 
then the <coughs> the homeowner gets another thousand dollar fine, which most of them have written into the contracts for the rental that if that you do something stupid like that, you're paying both fines. Yeah. So if you fuck up and um you know, park in the wrong place or just uh let's see here, our uh hot tub use and See, I don't get that. I assume it means nude hot tub use because or something like that. Uh $2,000 you're going to pay. See, I don't get this because when I just went to California, okay, where I stayed was right outside of Disneyland. Mm -hmm. And what people do is is they rent the p people that are rich buy other houses and what they do is is they rent these houses out to people that come to Disneyland. Well, also uh what people do is like say they just want to go on vacation. Uh, or they go to something uh, where the Anaheim Arena is, and they have, like, parties and shit, and people are getting so sick of it, they're actually getting rid of it. So um, it's funny that you mention this because California is just going through the same exact thing. They're just getting sick of people staying, of travelers. They're getting sick of tourists. And I don't know if this is a human thing, of humans are just hating humans so much that they don't want them to vacation anymore but it's uh, since you mentioned this i feel like there's a lot of hatred for tourists lately and i don't know what it is i think just people if they don't know who you are they like get really uncomfortable and they're just like oh i don't know that's weird that you brought that up right greg right yeah right what happened <laughs> <laughs> well it's just you know like i said i understand kind of part of it because you're you know you're pulling them out of into the residential areas where you know people who live there all year round you know they 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 put up with tourists but they don't necessarily want to deal with them like when they go to their own little sanctuary at home nah. i can understand that yeah i just i thought it was funny that you mentioned that because like i said california's going through the same thing and it's just there's this huge anti-tourist thing right now that I saw in California and a lot of people are pissed about it because it's just all these people now that live there don't want these houses to be rented out and you know the reason why a lot of parents can end up taking their kids to Disneyland is because how cheap these houses are so it's like you're gonna ruin all these kids mm -hmm. dreams and shit like that because you're a fucking well there's two sides to every I know there every is. situation but I just people need to fucking relax dude people don't like being neighbors anymore it's just weird people don't like people anymore I don't even, like people I know but you remember like back in the day when you were younger like when people came over to your house, it was, like, a big deal. Or, like, the phone rang. It was a huge deal. And now it's just, like, fucking the well, doorbell rings. You're now. like, who in the fuck's there? I don't want to, like, you hide. <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely hide. What? It's probably the cops. Yeah, well, not so, everyone does cocaine. Oh. Bob says, I hear the Simeon community has the same problem, but they solve it by throwing monkey shit at you. Yeah, see, I can't see no, that. I don't see that one either. Nah, I don't fucking, fucking know. Facebook. God damn it, Mark Monday. Zuckerberg! Stop fucking asshole. Stop losing data and fix your shit, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> well, now, now I can see it. Oh, you can. Uh, maybe there's just. Oh, there you I don't know. You guys, fuck you guys. <laughs> no, but I agree, Bob. I agree, man. Like fucking, I don't know. Like I just people don't like neighbors anymore, and it's weird. Like I remember when I was younger, well, my neighbors are a bunch of crackheads. Oh what yeah, that? that's what I'm Where? saying. I think I think I think just humans are becoming shittier because I feel like there's neighbors are becoming farther and farther apart. Like I said, when I was younger, we moved to this new place on Winthrop Street, I remember. Winthrop. Uh, my mom dressed me up in this little bow tie, and I had to take cookies over to my neighbors because that's how you said hi. Now it's just like, who in the fuck are you? Get off my land. Actually, you know, when I, uh, a couple of neighbor sets of neighbors back, uh, somebody moved in the house next to me, and they knocked on my they knocked on my door, and my uh, sister-in-law was visiting. Uh-huh. And uh, they, they were coming over to introduce themselves, and I was sitting there thinking, any other, you know, really, I should be honored that they're coming over to, you know, announce who they are and whatnot. Mm. But I'm just sitting there thinking, like, fuck you. Go away. I know. I don't want to know you. I know. That's just the way it is like these you. days. I remember, like, you used to like it when your neighbors would come over. Now it's no. just like, fuck off. Fuck I don't know. you. I know. It's weird. You're interrupting my Facebook and internet time. <laughs> yeah. Masturbating time. But, yeah, that's, uh, we're about out of time. Thanks, uh, everyone. I think everything went smooth again like that. Thanks for letting us know what the contrast was and everything like that. Hey, make sure you, uh, you're you following us on Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus and all that good shit. Instagram now, I guess we have as well. Um, get your kids out of my yard, exactly. <laughs> uh, go, uh, check out OpenlyHostileOpinions.com. We have a merch store in there. Everything's cool. Um, if you like what we did here today, consider being a patron at Patreon.com slash OpenlyHostileOpinions. Um, remember, as we said, we're trying to get that streaming radio station started. So every little bit helps contribute to that. And we cannot make it happen until we get a hundred a month. 
So if you guys are interested in, you know, helping us towards that goal, that's how you do it. Patreon.com slash Openly Hostile Opinions. Thank you all. See you next week. Later. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. This has been the Openly Hostile Opinions podcast. <laughs>